everyone who's here for the first two hearings. We have a large crowd for the third hearing, if you wouldn't mind uh, stepping out into the hallway so we can make sure folks have room. Thank you. Okay. Now the main event. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for your patience. Intro 82A. More importantly, known as the Taxi and Livery Driver Protection Act. Yes. And this legislation, I just want to say at the outset, this legislation is happening because of all of you who fought for it, who stood together to make sure that you could be safe and your families would know that their loved ones were safe. So thank you for the great work everyone in this room did contributing to this victory. Intro A2A requires TLC vehicles to post sign warnings, the signs warning passengers of penalties for assaulting drivers. Now we are all, all New Yorkers are greatly troubled by the number of attacks we've seen on cab drivers, delivery drivers. This includes two drivers who were tragically killed on the job this last summer. And we must do more to keep our drivers safe. This bill is similar to the protections that the MTA put in to protect subway and bus operators. The sign reminds all passengers that the maximum penalty for assaulting a driver is 25 years in prison. And that is a powerful message. The bill is sponsored by Councilmember Rory Lansman, and we thank him for his leadership and for being with us today. We thank Speaker Melissa Mark Viverito for her support and a woman who will make sure this legislation is implemented quickly and across the board and is doing a great job as our TLC Commissioner. I'd like to welcome Mira Joshi. Thank you, and I'll be brief because I know there's many here who can articulate the reasons that this bill is a wonderful piece of legislation, much better than I can. But I'll start with some thank yous. Thank you, Councilmember Lanceman, for spearheading this important legislation. Thank you, Chair Rodriguez and the Transportation Committee for your continued support for driver protection initiatives. And thank you, Mayor de Blasio, for your continued support of measures that improve the working lives of drivers. But most of all, thank you to the industry groups who so clearly articulated for lawmakers the daily perils drivers face. The TLC's licensed professionals drivers are key to New York City's vitality. They transport almost a million people a day, making it the city's third largest mover of people. But driving is a solitary profession and can be risky at times. Earlier this year, Bronx livery drivers, Mr. Kane and Mr. Ba, while working, were senselessly killed. And yellow taxi driver, Mr. Fahd from Pakistan, in a racially motivated attack, was assaulted with a skateboard. His nose was fractured and his face was severely cut. Year to date, there have been five felony and 39 misdemeanor assaults on drivers. Today's MTA subways, stations, and buses bear public warnings of the penalties associated with assaulting an MTA driver. TLC drivers deserve the same level of protection. Intro 82 will require this warning and create a moment of reflection and prevent for future assaults. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mira. And now I'd like to introduce the bill's sponsor, Councilmember Rory Lansman. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you, Commissioner, uh, for your uh, tireless support of this legislation, uh, and more broadly, for your commitment to keeping our taxi and livery drivers as safe as possible. Uh, you all are very important to us. Uh, men and women who drive our taxis and liveries uh, play a critically important role in the mass transit system in New York City, as the Commissioner indicated, uh, moving over a million people a day uh, throughout our city. And we need to do everything that we can to make sure that you're safe and secure. This legislation uh, will make sure that anybody who enters a taxi or a livery cab uh, knows the very, very serious consequences that could follow by assaulting that driver. And we are sure as we have seen in other jurisdictions that have adopted legislation like this, that those individuals will think twice before they attack a livery driver and prevent that man or woman from coming home to their family 
uh, safe and sound. And we know that because of your leadership, Mr. Mayor uh, and Madam Commissioner, and the leadership of the drivers uh, and their terrific uh, New York Taxi uh, Workers Alliance, that uh, some measure of safety and security is going to come to the men and women who play such an important role in our mass transportation system here in New York City. So uh, thank you so much for your support and to all of you who are here today and, and have been with us uh, through this fight uh, for a number of years now. As the Commissioner said, we wouldn't be here uh, without you. So thank you very, very much. Okay, there's a lot of interest to say the least. And now, Sanjita Khartoum of NYTWA. Good afternoon, my name is Sanjita Khartoum. I live in New Jersey and work in New York. And I'm very, very thankful to you passing this law because I was assaulted. I pick a passenger from 103 Madison, brought him to Canal, Chinatown. He tried to pull me over to side street. I refused. He grabbed my throat. It was 6.30 p.m. I jumped out of the car. I screamed. People together that this person has a knife because I saw the knife. This guy tried to run away. Nobody tried to help. Nobody came forward. I still have a fracture. It happened that a few minutes later, police came by. I hailed the cat, you know, them, and tried to look for him. We couldn't find him. And I'm very, very grateful. You passed this love for us. And this will encourage more women to work and they will feel safe. I have one request. When we turn on our travel light, which blinks, any police officer car around here at least stop us to see if something wrong with us. That is the request. And second request I have, when we have a rush hour, when we have a rush hour passenger, they're taking a cab, they want to reach their destination as soon as possible. Where our buses are allowed to turn, if we have a passenger, we should be allowed to turn. Yeah. Because this will make shorter distance for the passenger. And they will be happy to reach their destination as soon as possible. And I'm a lone bread or not for my family, because my son is in service. And I thank you. Thank you very much. And, uh... Chairwoman uh, Joshi mentions that there is legislation, legislation being worked on to address the point about the lights uh, being an indicator to the NYPD to come provide assistance. So, uh, here are certain questions. Now, I call it Bill Lindauer of the New York Taxi Workers Alliance. I'm the other Bill in the room. <laughs> I drove a taxi for 30 years. And now I'm on the organizing committee of the New York Taxi Workers Alliance. And this is our baby, this is our brainchild, especially that of our executive director, Beta V. Desai. I know she, she could be here today. She's busy organizing drivers in San Francisco. We're getting more power. <laughs> I want to give the utmost credit to Councilman Lonsman. He fought for this bill for years now, up first in Albany, and now on the city council. He was incredible. He spent some countless hours, and uh, it's unbelievable. I want to thank, of course, uh, Transportation Committee Chairman Idana Srebrenikas, and I want to thank even the TLC. I don't get to thank the TLC often. I <laughs> <laughs> don't deserve that very often, but I want to thank them. And I want to see the police department and the DAs of the five boroughs work jointly so when, and this, when they capture an assailant, they're prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. There should be maybe like a joint task force. And aligned with this bill the, is the Health and Disability Fund that was also the brainchild of the uh, Taxi Workers Alliance, and approved by the TLC, uh, some uh, judge in the lower court, some off-the-wall judge, uh, ruled against it, like we don't need health and disability. And of course, some scurrilous scoundrels in the taxi industry, taxi tycoons, 
You know who you are. Buy that lawsuit. And we know we will win on appeal because this is the decent, this is human decency and rational thinking. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'd like to welcome Javed uh, Tavid from New York Taxi Organization. Us, like a dream comes true. <coughs> we worked very hard the last 15 years for this bill because being a cab driver ourselves, we see every <coughs> three or four drivers coming in our office to who got assaulted. And I'm thankful to our uh, launchman and Mira Joshi and Mr. Devlazio that you are signing this bill today. It is really a dream for us for the safety of our. 99% of immigrant drivers who have families, they have little kids, and at the end of shift they don't know they're going to come home safe, or they're going to be murdered, or they're going to be assaulted. This is a big, big relief for us, and I'm really thankful to you all that who help us to pass this bill. At least now the wives of those uh, drivers or uh, other relatives, they can have little relief. They can have hope that their husband or brother or son who went to work, they're going to come safe home. And thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Good evening or good afternoon. <laughs> Mr. Vaxman, thank you, sir. You have been fighting for this bill. And by the way, my name is Barry Sport Simmons, and I'm a member of the organizing committee of the Taxi Workers Advice. I'm also uh, one of the senior cab drivers in New York City. I'm still driving today. My cab is outside, and I hope your guys don't tow me away. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Miss <laughs> um, Doji, the, the commissioner, thank you very much, madam, for the work that you have been doing with us uh, through this administration. And to the mayor of New York City, again, I thank you very much. This is a bill I've been driving for over 40 years, and I'm still driving. Thank God. My health is not in the best of condition, so we need that uh, health fund to yes. go along with us. Yes. Uh, again, Mr. Leishman, like I said, from Albany to New York City, uh, it's, I, I do not feel like the Roger Danger people anymore. Okay? <laughs> I think this bill will give us a little respect. All right. I have a list of names here that has been assorted. I won't go through it today because it will take away a little bit of my time. But again, thank you so much and to my membership here, and I'm speaking for not just the members of the Taxi Workers Alliance, but all the cab drivers in New York City. You are the mayor of New York City, I'm the mayor of the cab drivers. <laughs> Mr. Lunchman, you started 
when my campaign started, and you, you just you know, introduced a bill in Albany, and but it didn't happen there, but now it happened in New York City. So I want to thank you again for this your hard work and support, and thank you, Ms. Uh, uh, Joshi, uh, the uh, Commissioner of DLC. She support with her associates to support this bill to turn into a law. So I'm so thankful, Mr. Mayor, you're signing this bill. I'm ready to see it. I mean, this is my life, just my life. I'm a victim and a survivor. Thank you. A few words in Spanish before we sign the legislation. Hoy estoy firmando una legislación que exige que avisos enumerando las penalizaciones por agredir a conductores de taxis y carros libres sean publicadas en todos los vehículos de la Comisión de Taxis y Limosinas. Tenemos que hacer todo lo posible para mantener a nuestros conductores seguros. With that, we're going to go over and sign the legislation. Mira, Mira, come on.